remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gun powder treason should ever be for God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bonjour, bonjour. Voudrez-vous un petit, petit déjeuner pour mon petit ami? Oui. Un petit, petit déjeuner pour mon petit ami. Eux, avec liberté. <laughs> Please, enjoy. Wow. Which did come first? 
That's what I've always wanted to know. Which did come first? The chicken or the egg? <laughs> Perhaps not. A quandary, a mystery, a puzzle will solve today, but Maybe, maybe we'll try anywhere or a different way. Which came first? Well, <laughs> the chicken or the egg? Enjoy your breakfast. Oop. Who am I to interrupt it with such boring, obtuse, tired, trite tropes? Such meaningless philosophical discussion. It's not for the breakfast table. How about this instead? Which came first? The people or its government? Which came first? The state or the proletariat? Which came first? You or them? Hmm. The government or the people? Hmm. Oh, no. No, 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 no. People should not be afraid of their governments. Government should be afraid of their people. Boop. Don't you agree? Hmm? Me? I'm the the pleased to meet you. The charming, the grateful for your company, the happy to see you, the angry, the, the, the disgruntled, the sick of it all, but not us. Lest we forget, everybody is special. Everybody. Everybody is a hero, a lover, a fool, a villain. Everybody. Especially you. Boop. We are multifaceted creatures. We are complex carbon molecules, atomic explosions of a character. We are ideas, ideas made of flesh. Like the Bard said, all the world is a stage. That's right. All the world is a stage. But the government 
the establishment, the masters, they brought down the curtain. And we have been in the dark for far too long. It's time to land a fire, wouldn't you agree? Ah. Hmm. Gilded, is it? Golden, comfortable, I hope, I sincerely do. They had placed us in these cages. They have asphyxiated us with our own complacence. Don't you see? Them. It was always them. Love your rage. Not your cage. <laughs> Is that what you think? You think me pure, reactionary, aggressive, explosive, needless. I am all those things. In fact, I wish were so that I were needless, that I were not required, that I were a fiction, that I were just an idea, no longer made flesh, or what of it there is. You misunderstand. Anarchy is to anarchism what uh, bigotry is to fascists. <laughs> Symbiotic, but not the same. But that, that made me think funny little things, aren't they? presented with opposition, for they are cowards. They are cowards, and they carry all of their eggs in one racist basket. What is more pitiful than a fascist? A child. A child who is oh, solipsist. Singular, sad, 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 sad. But don't shed a tear for the fash. Instead, give them a little bash. <laughs> but no. Have you ever wondered why? Why? Why the fascist is so 
why is he he the way he is I looked at them for some time I am indeed the product of their eugenicist way but I always wondered when you look at their leaders especially those funny little men they always seem to fall short of the ideas they espouse do they not they talk of pure races perfection of Zubermensch, the Dyson of a superman. And yet look at them. What do you see? Whoop they see in the mirror. Is it an opaque blankness? So if it were a reflection, is it? highlighted how they really are they would see that they do not conform to the ideal that they present would they not but 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 don't get me wrong I pity the fascist a product of a society that doesn't care a society a culture a government of despair so yes you may find me radical you may find me anarchic you may find me destructive and well perhaps even a little scary but let me ask you something more petty than me. Boop. Aren't you scared? <laughs> well, perhaps you should be. You see them rounding and rounding, rounding and rounding up the ones they don't want. The ones who don't look like you. The ones who weren't born here through a geographic lucky draw. A lottery of souls. You see them rounding them up and up and up. Putting them in cages not as pretty as your own. Invisible is yours but yours they can see and vice versa there is no liberty for you to stand there oh, oh, oh of course, of course, of course of course it's fine if it's not your door there knocking on it's fine if it's not your bring, bring, bring they're calling it's fine if it's not your wrists they're cuffing but one day one day soon they'll come for you and if you let everybody else go to hell then perhaps that is where they'll be marching you off to as well, don't you think? Don't you think? Don't you think? Oh, no, 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 je suis désolé, mon petit déjeuner. I am being cruel. Cruelty was not my nature. Cruelty has become my weapon. 
when faced with insurmountable evil, unparalleled prejudice, unquestionable cruelty. What are you supposed to do? I'm asking. Remember, remember, the 5th of November of gunpowder and treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. And furthermore, I know of no reason why it does not bear repeating. What is the world we live, if not for our children? In what world do we live for them, if we are not in it? By the way, your egg, how is it? Are you enjoying it? Good, good. My specialty. Thank you. I appreciate your kind words. You see, X is X. Which came first, the chicken or the other? It doesn't really matter. They're both here now. And it only takes a few bad eggs to ruin a perfectly adequate, a perfectly delicious, a perfectly human omelette. So remember, remember that in order to affect change in order to inflict chaos, in order to make progress, one must, must be willing to break a few I know, it's seven in the morning and I'm acting like this. Imagine what I'm like after my third cup of tea. No, perhaps that petit petit déjeuner was too petit indeed for my petit ami. Would you like another egg? A egg basket. I shall consult the anarchist's cookbook. I shall prepare and wash my hands. I shall collect a fresh socialist egg for you from a kibbutz just down the road. And I shall prepare for you mon petit petit déjeuner avec bon vous. Your second breakfast, the second most important meal of the day for any aspiring anarchist or domestic terrorist. I almost forgot. Boop. One for luck. Ah, <laughs> 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 on the right.